and stuff. Hi guys, it's me Scott here. Welcome to our special holiday ride along. There, I'm gonna call it holiday. Boxing Day. Christmas. Because it is Boxing Day. Happy Boxing Day. Xmas, Christmas, whatever you want to call Except it. Except to the Americans who don't celebrate it. Yes. I'm here with Brady again. Brady, mm -hmm. B-Man, and Troy. Mm -hmm. So we're going to head right into this. Next Sunday, so sorry, next Saturday, New Year's Day, is the day one the WWE pay-per-view. And we wanted to do our predictions. Now keep in mind, this is a pre-taped show. So these are the current matches that we know know of as of right now. So please do not get mad at us if we don't get every match. So B-Man, do you want to run the matches for us and then we'll pick and choose? Okay, well this one was kind of a surprise. I don't even, I guess they added uh, yeah. SmackDown, which uh, I didn't get to see yet. So I guess I kind of got spoiled. But apparently uh, Mad Cat Moss, who's Happy Corbin's sidekick, is going one on one, -on -one with Drew McIntyre. Do you want to pick first? I guess I will. Um, <laughs> Joe McIntyre is pretty pretty easy, I think. Troy? Sorry, what's the question? Madcap Moss versus Drew McIntyre. Madcap Moss is kind of like, uh, you, you ever remember uh, Riddick Moss? From NXT. What's, what's NXT, you know? I remember Raw. Oh. From like 2019. If you, don't, if you don't want to pick, you don't have to. Um, I'm going to pick the Moss guy. I'll, I'll just pick someone different. Well, Drew McIntyre. Yeah, I kind of think that. Where are Finch at? Uh, okay, so for the WWE Raw Women's Championship, we have Becky Lynch versus Liv Morgan. Me, man? I'm gonna go Becky. Yeah, same here, Becky. Uh, Edge, one on one with The Miz. And also, too, it was funny last week, uh, on Miz TV, what was it? I think it was earlier this week, actually. Yeah, on Miz TV, where uh, uh, Edge and Miz got into it, and uh, Miz pulled his wife in front of him to shield him, and then he got, he, she shot at Edge and him with Skull Crushing Finale. And then Maurice got pissed off about it. She slapped him in the face. So that was pretty funny. Uh, as far as who's winning there, I'm going to say Edge. i got to go with the hometown boy. Edge, because he has a lot of species. He's personal. Edge. Ooh, this is a tough one. I mean, not really. But I'm going to go the Miz with, like, a roll-up or something like that. Uh, or maybe like D2 or something. Is that an abandoned house? It's cool. Uh, no, it's an it's abandoned something, but it's yeah. not a house. Plus, I can't go against the Miz. He's the Miz, and he's awful. That's what I thought in early 2010. Uh, so anyway, we've got... Uh, the WWE SmackDown Tag Team Championship match with the Usos, or the Bloodline if you want to call them, versus the New Day, Kofi Kingston and King Woods. Sir Kofi and King Woods. They're facing off each other. Yeah, for like the 10 billionth time. Kofi this should be a good match though. Kofi versus Kofi, no, Kofi and Xavier versus the New Day. Or versus, no, versus the Usos, sorry. New Day versus oh, the I mean, they're, they're, they're the challengers. Sorry. New day. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, I'm gonna say honestly, I think the Usos are probably gonna retain, you know, because of uh, because if they don't, uh, good old uh, head of the table Roman Reigns is gonna be pissed. Yes. So I think I think the Usos are gonna retain here. Right? Usos. Roman Reigns. I'm gonna pick the Usos as well. Usos. 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 Um, first predictions. For another match that's happened about 10 billion times by now, we have Roman Reigns defending the Universal Championship against Brock Lesnar. Roman. Roman, yeah, I, 
I'd say Roman Yeah, too. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. I want Lesnar to win, but Reigns. That was easy. Yeah, really. And finally, as I mentioned in the last one, we have a fatal four-way match for the WWE Championship. Big E defends against Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, and Bobby Lashley. This one's actually a little tougher to call, but I think overall Big E's going to retain. Yeah, you didn't even do your prediction. What's the match again? Sorry, I missed that one. It's a fatal four-way. I just talked about it a little while ago. Yeah. Big E versus Seth Rollins versus Kevin Owens versus Bobby Lashley. Kevin Owens. That's all. Yeah, I'm gonna go Bobby Lashley. I dozed on that one. So you you pick. So you pick Bobby Lashley. You pick Kevin Owens, and we both pick Big E. Okay. I'm gonna be wrong about that, but Kevin. whatever. Me. Yeah, yeah. Brady, you pick Lashley? Yeah. I mean, it's not gonna happen, but. Uh, so those are those are all the matches. Honestly, that might be the only that might be all the matches on the card. Who knows? Cause there's already six of them, so. We we'll probably got a pre-show match too, but. Well, there'll be a pre. One of the one of the matches probably probably Mad Cat Moss versus McIntyre might be on the pre-show. Is there a SmackDown Women's Championship match? Because they might have one of those at their so Yeah, that's uh, that's it for day one. Ish. Day one is. Um, yeah, guys. So, as you guys know, this is our Xmas holiday ride along. What are? Let's talk about. I guess this is a. I guess I don't really know what to ask. What's our favorite thing about the holidays? Starting with Brady. Put him on the spot. Okay, when the holidays are over. Awesome. Because <laughs> I get sick of Christmas by the time friggin' December hits. I'm leaving. D-Man? Uh, I definitely got to agree with Brady, but I think also, uh, I guess, I don't know, the, um, the at- I guess I got to say, like, the atmosphere of everything. Like, you know, yeah. you get the Christmas slides and you got all that other stuff. That stuff's always kind of cool to work at. Especially if, like somebody really goes all out the, the decorating and stuff. It's really dark on this. Room. No, I know. I'm going nowhere. Um, you try? For me, I have to agree with both these guys in the back. I love the atmosphere. I love the events. I just love the good vibes. You know, the light shows you can go to. But I do agree with um, Brady. It, like, it is a lie. You know, like, they've really turned uh, a Christmas into a marketing scheme. Like, they've done a lot of things, you know. Nowadays, uh, Christmas stuff starts appearing in, like... I saw it in August. At the end of August. You know, like, when, like, we were kids, it was never that bad. At least I don't remember it. No, I remember the movie, like, November, maybe yeah. late, late exactly. October. For, for me, growing up, yeah. I remember when it hit December, the month of December, yeah. Christmas starts going out. Exactly. So, as, as fully grown up now, I start to realize that um, in October, November, they're starting to Exactly. Yeah, I never got I never got that. Like come on, let, let, let each holiday have its own like fucking thing before you start. Like if if, it, if they had started November first, okay fine, you know, but they do it like at least beginning of October now. Like Halloween hasn't even happened yet. You guys are already setting up for Christmas, like, come on. Christmas is just a giant corporate brand now. It's I mean, not that's even that's pretty much every holiday. Exactly, but I find though, um, um, Christmas is the most corporate because it's a, because it's more than just a day; it's a season. It's also more. It's also the most hectic. Yeah, I find as the older I get, the less in the Christmas I get. Same. So, yeah. 
Like maybe in a few years I won't even be celebrating Christmas. So. Yeah. Exactly. But yeah, okay, that's good to know. Um anyone else wanna add anything before we get into promotions? So for promotions, next Sunday's ride along, January second, we got a big announcement coming. Stay tuned for that. Um, I can't think what else we're doing. Maybe our New Year's resolutions. I don't know what we're doing yet. Um, what else was I gonna say? Frosty Ten Thirteen's newest song dropping soon. If it has dropped by now, I will put it down below in the links. Um, I've got a lot of stuff coming up. Troy in the back has a new YouTube channel dropping in the new year. I don't know if he wants to speak to that. It's a surprise. It's, it's a surprise. We don't really know any details. So so, so, so stay tuned for that. It's a yeah. Stay, stay tuned for that. Um, um, yeah. You know, there's a lot of good stuff coming up on my channel. Um, I just went to Wonderland the other day, Terra Lumina this past week, looked for those reviews dropping, or actually they will have already dropped. Yeah, there's just a lot of good stuff coming up, you know, it's Christmas time now. Yeah, you know. Baseball is probably still on strike. Baseball is probably still on strike. As you can tell, these are locked the, As you can tell, these are pre-recorded, there we've said it. Um, yeah, guys, is there anything else anyone wants to talk about? This is another short one. It's only 11 minutes, so I think we gotta keep going. At least well, like we can't go too much. No, longer. yeah, so no. There's a certain somebody in this car needs to go to work. Yeah, no, like no, no. Five no, to go to work. Or yeah. Like that. Um, we're not that far. Um, but yeah, guys. Um, what else did we talk about? Oh yeah, what's the worst Christmas gift that you ever got? <clears throat> Good question. Yeah, to keep with the Christmas theme. I think we can all agree on that. Oh, clothes are clothes. like terrible, but. What about you, Bina? I don't honestly remember. Mostly all I ever get is like money or gift cards. The thing about that is when you're younger, you get mad about clothes, but like nowadays, like you just want clothes as you get older. Well, yeah, because they're actually practical. Exactly. I basically ask for money or gift cards, but that's what all adults ask for. <laughs> Prefer money over gift cards. Yeah, yeah. Well, some people like to actually put forth the effort to actually get something. The worst part is getting a gift card for somewhere you don't go. Oh, exactly. It's like, oh, well, I don't even shop there. Like, I think I got a Best Buy gift card like ten years ago, and oh, I don't, I don't think I used it till like June. guys that's it for this episode merry christmas happy holidays even though christmas was yesterday merry xmas there i've said it merry christmas happy new happy holidays all right guys peace